There was a photo that I put onto Instagram and onto my Facebook page, uh, even onto the Bloody Legends Facebook page, uh, just a little while ago, and it was the first time ever in all the photos that I've taken and all the videos that I've done, that there were a few people who went, I don't believe you took this on the phone. And you could take that either way. You could take that of, uh, in a way that, that, that you go, well, you bastards, I did take this on the phone. Or you could go, that's a pretty bloody good compliment to see people saying, did you really do this on a phone? So I'm gonna show you how I did it. And you'll be able to do it too. So here is my gallery view on my iPhone at the moment. And the morning that I did that panorama photo, I took a heap of photos and you can see them here as, you, as we're looking at it right now. There was even a photo that I took, this one right here of my camp setup, that I was asked, did you take that with the phone? And if I swipe up there, you'll see you know, it's saved from Instagram, that one, so maybe not that one. Uh, this one here's probably from the phone. Yep, there you go, from the phone. Uh, from the phone. It'll be all from the phone. I don't even take a DSLR camera with me anymore when I'm doing my trips and shooting my videos. But the photo in question is a panorama photo, and it's this photo here. In fact, I'll scroll down the bottom here somewhere. Where are we to the actual end photo? Is that it there? No, that's not it. Where is it? Oh, here they are. Um, that one right there. How good is that photo? It's sensational. But to build this photo, you've got to do a few things. I'll go back up the top here. I'm not hiding anything from you here. And you can see in this row here, just above that, that what looks like a sunset, but it's not, it's actually a ship out in the ocean. You can see these photos here, this one, this one, and it'll keep going through. These are the series of photos that I took to get that panorama shot. And the way that you take them, just to prove the point, I'll scroll up and there you go. Apple, iPhone, 15 Pro Max, there's all the data that I did, that, that, that is there for these photos. You can see there where I took it. <clears throat> it's, it's all there, it's all from this phone. Now, to take these photos, as you've got your phone on a tripod, so these are all 30 second long night mode photos. As you hold, if the sky is dark enough, you can put the phone on the tripod, you'll see the stars even before you take a photo. You take a photo, you move it so that the star on the right hand side, if you're going left to right, right hand side comes back to roughly the middle of the frame. So you want to overlap the photos by about half, sometimes more, sometimes less, but generally speaking, half of the frame overlapping each photo is going to be enough to stitch them all together. So there's all the photos that I just, that I, that I mentioned there, they're, they're all the photos that I took for that panorama photo. Once those photos are taken though, they don't leave the phone. Now I'll go over to the, to the app that I use there, is BioStitch, and there's the actual photo there <coughs> from BioStitch. We're gonna go, I'll, I'll do it again for you, right here, live on this right here. So where do we start? We start there, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And it's gonna link them all together. You know, add those photos, here we go, it's building the photo right now. There you go, simple as that. The edit of this photo is just in Adobe Lightroom like I edit all of my other photos. So there you go, it is from a phone. It is a very good way of stitching panoramas together. It's a bloody good app, and you can expect to see more of these panorama photos on this channel, well, in the not too distant future, because that is freaking epic. I had that many people saying to me, that's like a DSLR photo. And it's from the Apple iPhone 15 Pro Max. All done on the phone. All right, guys, catch you later.